What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Princess Ray Ray, and I'm back with another YouTube video. You already know what's going on. Whoa. Eight. Eight. And I'm back. Eight. Eight. Like that. But anyway, today we're going to be doing a story time. Story time. Stop playing with me. Bitch. <laughs> But we gonna be doing a story time about my coming out story. So I'm gonna go all the way back to what I remember. What I remember was I was on Facebook and I posted a Facebook status and said, I'm gay. You know, just to see what, you know, everybody was gonna say about it. You know what I'm saying? How people feel about it and stuff like that. So my mom asked me, like, is you really gay? I'm like, no, I was just playing. I ain't gay. I ain't gay. I'm just playing. I don't like girls. I ain't even gonna say gay. You feel what I'm saying? I, I'm gonna be like, no, I ain't like girls. No, I don't like girls. So down the line, it was this girl. I was in like seventh grade. And it was this girl. Her name was I ain't even gonna say her name. I wanted to say D. And she was cute, big, juicy. Ooh, her booty was big. Yeah. Her booty was big. She was light skinned. Pretty. I mean, yes. She was feeling me. I was feeling her. So we got together. We went out for like. We went out for a minute. I'm going to say about a minute. Before she went to high Before she went to high school. I don't know how long we dated, but yeah, that was my first chick. Man. I was like, yes. Then some way, somehow, I think my brother, my brother, yes, my brother, my brother told my mom, like, Rory got a girlfriend because I think me and him got into it and we was fighting. And he like, Rory got a girlfriend. And my mom asked me, and you know, she did, you know, I mean, she accepted me from the jump. She ain't, you know, she ain't do all that extra ass, extra ass shit. I'm gonna beat your ass, you ain't gay, da 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 da. No, she ain't do none of that. She accepted me from the jump. Right. So then when I broke up, me and her broke up. I don't even know how me and her broke up. We used to stop dating each other, to be honest. Then it was another girl. I'm talking about like, it's like soon as I came out to the world, I'm talking about every girl in my school wanted to date me. I'm talking about all the girls. All of them wanted to date me. Yes, all the girls was feeling me. These right here, bang. But yeah, I had so many girlfriends in middle school. Talk about so many. I dated this one chick. Her feet was like this. <laughs> but she walked like a penguin. You know, me being a little thotty body, didn't give a big. She was pretty. And she was cool. Goofy, not I mean, so that was one. So that's two girls I dated. And then it was a girl, name, let's say, Ian. And she was cool, she was yeehaw, <laughs> short. And I dated this girl named A. She was bad, pretty, dark skin, like, not dark skin, but dark skin. She was cute. And then I had a best friend I dearly miss. She moved. We stopped. I stopped going to school in like eighth grade. I got, what happened? Okay, let me tell you the story. And he goes, that's another story time. I keep about to give y'all the tea. Like, what's up? 
But, yeah. I had a lot of girlfriends at school. Like, I was loving middle school so much with all the girls. And I was on the basketball team. And I did, I ran to school and I did what I wanted. Stop, man. Middle school was the life. With the life. I miss going to middle school. I'm talking about all the girls. I'm talking about. I didn't date like three girls. And they all at my house on my porch. Like, sitting on my porch. I just went from girl to girl to girl. Like, they were stalking it. You know, they were Stephanie Young G. <laughs> they was really stalking me. Like, they was on my porch. My mom was like, girl, you gotta get all them girls off my porch. No, she ain't say that. But she was like, she's always saying, like, girl, you had a whole bunch of girls on the porch. And my brother only had, like, one girl on the porch. And he go around telling people he had the girls. No, bruh. You know what the fuck was going on back then. They was here to see me. Not you. They didn't ask for you. They sat around me 24-7. Every day. Yeah. So. You can pull your bitch. And her bitch. And that bitch. And that bitch in the cut. And that, that bitch over there. Pull them bitches. I'm saying. But that's the end of that story. I just wanted to tell that story. I know what my next story is going to be. I think I'm going to pre-make it. Nah. But make sure you like. Subscribe. And leave a comment. Like, subscribe to my channel. You know you, know you want to see me and do these story times? My next story is kind of crazy, though. Wait, just wait. Just gotta watch the next episode. Hey.